are you doing up there, you old fool? Don't you know there's a storm coming? Quiet, you old witch! Can't you see I'm putting this sign so travelers know they can't pass no farther? Anyone who's not blind like you can see that. You can't even see the mountains, much less Hell's Gate Pass. Get in here before you catch a cold. If you get sick, I ain't taking care of ya. If I drank any more of your soup, I'd die of thirst from all the salt you put in it. There, signs up. Get inside and get ready. We're going to have a full in tonight. I hope not too many more. We're already nearly full as it is. Don't curse your luck, woman. The rebellion was the best thing that ever happened to us. Why, since it ended, the roads are bursting with travelers. Filled with bums, you mean. Most of them don't have no money at all. Why, you let that gambler have a room? Huh. He's just going to sneak out in the morning. What? He has a nun and a kid with him. How could I leave them out here? Besides, you don't really think he's a gambler, do you? I bet the really rebels on the run, all dressed up. Really? You think so? Sure. Like you said, the roads are filled with them, and Imperial troops too. The kid's just a smokescreen. Some orphan they picked up someplace. I don't know. He seemed pretty attached to them. Hey, husband, look. Another army patrol. Looks like this one's got a prisoner. She can't be more than 20. What do you think she's done? You've got her all wrapped up in chains and gagged. Mind your own business, woman. Here they come. Sirs, you can't go no farther. The pass is closed. You there, innkeeper. Tell us, how far to the next hotel? Why, at least a full day's journey through the pass, sir. But if you don't mind me saying so, Lieutenant, they don't call this Hell's Gate Pass for no reason. This pass eats people for breakfast. And that's on a good day. Your luck is still with you, little sparrow. Pardon, sir? Nothing. My men and I will need lodgings. At least three rooms. No problem, officer. We're always happy to help the army. Thank you, madam. Sir, if you don't mind me asking, what did she do? She looks awful young. Shush, woman. Sorry, sir. She doesn't know when to stop asking questions. No, it's quite all right. This, madam, is one of the leaders of the rebellion. We caught her when we raided one of their strongholds, and now we're transporting her back to the provincial capital. All these men for one girl? What could she do? Pray, madam, you never find out. Now, let me see to these rooms of yours. My men and I could use a hot drink and a meal. a bet, Jean. Oh. But he's been red for an awfully long time. Yes, he has, hasn't he? You see that man over there in red? The one with the funny eye? Yes, that one. He made a bet with Brother Go that he couldn't hold his breath for longer than the other man next to him. The purple one? Yes, the purple one. I think this contest is about to end. <gasps> okay, okay, I give. Fan, you're a fool. You, <gasps> best two out of three. <sighs> Sorry, Shay, but a good gambler knows when to quit. <sighs> and so do I. <sighs> I. I had to belch. It wasn't a fair contest. Fan, with the amount of food you eat, I'm amazed you don't explode. Now, gentlemen... I believe there was silver riding on this bet, and I have a warm bed waiting for me upstairs that you have just kindly paid for. 
You'll touch my silver over your dead body, gambler. Brother, let's show this punk what happens to people who mess with the Golden Chalice Escort Agency. Huh, still the sore loser, eh, fan? No wonder no reputable agency will hire you two. Why, you? Brother, soldiers, put away your sword. Here's your money, little go. Let's hope that warm bed isn't your last resting place. Is there any better place to meet it? Come back any time, gentlemen. Ah, <sighs> well, cat, no cold straw for us tonight. You might enjoy it, but I always spend the next day scratching like... Uh... Go? What is it? What's wrong? That woman those soldiers just brought in. Did you see what she just did? She stretched her hands. No, she did more than that. The way she moved her fingers was a secret sign asking for help from anyone who might be from her martial arts school. Oh, how do you know that? Because I'm from her school. Go, where do you think you're going? Shh, you'll wake Jing. I'm just going out for a walk. How do you plan to get past her guards? <laughs> you don't miss a thing, do you, sister? Actually, I'm going to chat up her guards and see what I can find out. Do you know her? No, but my master taught in many places, so it's entirely possible she's a sliding watergrass student. Don't worry, sister. I'm not going to break her out. She may be my martial sister, but I'm in no hurry to cause any trouble for some stranger. Then why are you so concerned? After she came in, Fan took off out into that storm like someone told him there was free food on the other side of town. I think those Golden Chalice boys were here waiting for her, and I want to know why. Please be careful, Go. Jing is relying on us to get him home. Hey, you know me. That's what I'm afraid of. So I pulled out old faithful here and chopped off his head. Poor blighter, he didn't even have a chance. But you know how those rebels are? Show on the back of your hand and they run like geese. I took it up and displayed it on the wall. And quick as you can say, Auntie Ming, they all ran away. Ah, so that's what happened at the Greywater Fortress. Sounds like General Lo should be giving you a medal. But you said you chopped off Ruthless Gao's head, right? Yeah. Well, I heard they showed off his whole body, you know, tossed it over the wall. How come his head didn't fall off when they did that? Well, I know that's a good question, sir. And, um, the reason is, um, uh... Ah, uh, I get it. I, I understand. He had a helmet on, didn't he? They must have stuck the helmet on without a head, right? Why, yes. Yes, they did, sir. They did exactly that. Couldn't risk them blighters stealing it back. Of course, you know how it is, sir. In the end, the officers took all the credit for it all. Can't let us enlisted men do anything good, or it might make them look bad. That's always the way, isn't it? Officers get all the glory, and you guys do all the work. Hey, this guy you're working for now, he like that too? Lieutenant Hung? Nah, he's okay. Or at least he would be if he could keep his mind on his work. Why? What do you mean? Well, between you and me, buddy, whoever sat hung on this job was missing a few tiles from his roof, if you know what I mean. We're taking this prisoner to provincial capital, and when we show up to pick her up, the lieutenant acts like he's seen a ghost. I ask him why, but he won't tell me. So I went and found a village, another guy from his village, you see. That guy told me that this girl we're taking in used to be from the same village as the lieutenant. So we're figuring that they know each other. We even asked him about it. But he told us shut up and acted like we just cursed his mother. So we just kept it quiet. He's a good guy, but ever since she came, he's been like he's sleepwalking or something. So what's up with this girl? She's a little young to be a rebel, isn't she? Yeah, she's... Hey, why are you asking about her? Oh, just curious. I was wondering if she's a concubine or something. Huh? <sighs> 
She looks good enough to be one, don't she? Nah, she's no concubine. In fact, between you and me, that girl's one of the rebel leaders. You don't say. Who? Well, I'm not supposed to tell anyone this. Oh, your cup's empty. Here, let me pour you another drink. Huh? Yeah, okay, fill her up. So, you ready to pee your pants? That girl we got up there, she's none other than. The Twin Dragon Girl. Who? Yeah, I didn't think you'd have heard of her. She was a bandit leader up north. United six different bandit clans under one banner, in fact. If Ruthless Gao was public enemy number one, she's number two. And that was because the Imperial Bean Counter made a mistake when he ranked them. That girl? Is she a martial arts master? Prodigy is more like it. They say she can copy anything she sees done once and do it twice as well. On top of that, she's got some kind of foreign-made hand cannons that can kill anyone she can see. That's why they call her the Twin Dragon Girl. It's like she's got a dragon in each hand. I saw the soldiers were carrying a chest with chains wrapped around it when they came in. That'll be her cannons, I bet. They'll be taking them back for the governor to see. But what do you think Fan and Shay have to do with her? Are they part of her bandits? No, I don't think so. Golden Chalice may call itself an escort agency, but the truth is they're actually a bunch of killers and bounty hunters. If I have to guess, they're here on a contract and someone in the capital doesn't want to see her make it back alive. That's terrible. So what are we going to do? Um. Do? We're not going to do anything. She's a bandit leader and this is government business. Well, my curiosity is satisfied and tomorrow morning we're going to walk out of here and leave them to it. Sorry, folks, but the weather's gotten worse this morning. For those of you wanting to use the pass, I really suggest you stay here until it blows over. Shouldn't be more than another day or so. Ah, <sighs> great. What's wrong, Uncle Go? Eh, nothing, Jing. Enjoy your steam bun. Hey, kid. What'd you like best, sweet bean or spiced meat? Sweet bean! That's the best. Yeah, me too. Wonder what's taking the sister so long. It's not like she has any hair to wash. Hey, Uncle Go! It's that man with the purple face. I mean, who had the purple face when you did stuff with him? Yes, and he's brought friends with swords, lots of them. Innkeeper, wine for my men and I. Make sure it's hot. Coming up, sirs, right away. You lot, this is our table. Find your own. Do. Go up and find my brother. He's probably upstairs, playing with that nun that was here yesterday. Huh. Someone is lucky a certain hot-tempered sister is taking her time this morning. Great, so we have an infill with soldiers and assassins, both of which are after the same target. Huh. What else could go wrong? Mm. Uncle Go. So Jing, good. what's wrong? Innkeeper, what kind of bad meat did you uh, serve us? Uh, My men are all getting uh, sick. Uh, oh no, everyone's getting uh, sick. They're all doubling over in pain. Uh, no, uh, not everyone. Hmm, maybe waiting for the sister to eat was a good idea. Oh, better play along. Oh. Good morning, brother. Hey, Shay. I brought them in just like you said. Been busy, eh, brother? The nice thing about a big inn like this is that everyone eats from the same pot. You bastards. Oh. Ooh, that's enough out of you. <laughs> Take the men up and get the woman. She'll be in the room at the end with the lieutenant. This bunch isn't going anywhere. We'll deal with them later. Hey, that's that gambler from yesterday. Just let me pay him back what I owe him. Fan, do what I said, and watch out. I don't see that nun that was with him. She might be around someplace. Got it. Come on, boys. Let's go make us rich. 
Hmm. I better lock the door to keep out any unexpected visitors. He's leaving to the front hall. Now's my chance to grab Jean. Get the heck out of here. Okay, he's out cold, but he's still breathing. I'll find some place safe to take care of him, and then come back to find out where the sister is. This is the door. Hold up here. If we're lucky, they've already had breakfast, and this will be easy. <laughs> Open up, sir. We need to talk to you right away. Okay, I hear him coming. Everyone get ready. Yes, men. What did... Who are you, Lot? Get him! What? Get off me! Uh. Not so tough with a knife in you, are you? Watch this, boys. I'll show you my personal technique for removing heads. First, you line them up like this. Then you bring your blade down. Right... Between the shoulder and head. Yeah! But his name be praised. Killing defenseless people is a sin. Could you not reconsider your actions, gentlemen? What the? It's a nun! Get her! I thought not. Well, time for my morning exercises then. Hey! -ya! Ow! I better get Shay and let him handle her. Fall back, men! Huh, cowards! The whole lot of you! <sighs> Hold on, sir. I'll help you. Let's get you back inside your room. Hello there. You must be the twin dragon girl. Jay! Jay! That damn nun just jumped us and locked herself in the room! What? You didn't stop her? She's too fast! And big! Couldn't do nothing to stop her! <sighs> you fool! How could you let her get in there? You know how hard it's going to be to get her out? There's more men coming, Shay! Why don't we just wait until they get here? I just grabbed who was closest and hurried back. But we'll have near the whole agency here by this afternoon. And look like a fool in front of them? No. If you look foolish, so do I. And nobody makes a fool of me. Grab her partner and we'll use him and the kid too. Hey, where are they? They was right over there. Well, they ain't there anymore. He must have been faking and snuck off when I wasn't looking. What we do now, Shay? Find them. They may not have gotten far. And while you're at it, get some oil from the kitchen. There's more than one way to smoke out a rabbit. <laughs> Jing's safe. Now I'll go check on the lieutenant. If he's smart, he'll have locked himself in his room. Damn, it's cold out here. My fingers are almost frozen numb as I climb. But the best way in was to go out. Now, there's the window. Let's just take a little peek inside. Why, it's Kath and the lieutenant. Looks like he's been hurt. Hey, sister, open up. Go? Alms for the poor? I'm collecting. Go, stop being foolish and get in here. I need your help. I can see that. Has he lost a lot of blood? Yes, he's been stabbed. I brought him in here before they could do him any more harm. How's Jing? He could use your attention. I left him down the stables. They poisoned the whole inn. I know. I heard them from the top of the stairs. What are we going to do? Okay, uh, if the lieutenant's not getting worse, could you go check on Jing? I'll stay here and hold the fort. I've got business with our lady friend here.
Are you going to let her loose? Maybe. It depends on her answers to my questions. Go on, we can't let anything happen to Jing. Right. Now then, Miss Dragon, let's get that muzzle off you. Wait. Lieutenant, you shouldn't be moving. Don't let her loose. If you do, I'll kill you. You'll have to pardon me for not being intimidated, Lieutenant. You can't trust her. She'll kill us all. Given our situation, she may have to take a number. Lieutenant, why are you so determined to keep her chained up? She was your childhood sweetheart, after all. What? Who are you? How do you know that? So, I was right. Look, Lieutenant Hung, you don't know me. Neither of you do. But I got stuck in this situation because of you, so now I'm involved. I know where you're taking her and why. But I have to say I'm pretty shocked you're willing to march her off to her death. I have my orders. You also have a great opportunity here. Forget your orders. Let her free and disappear. Everything can be blamed on these assassins, and both of you can just take off. Well, assuming we live to see sunset, of course. <laughs> Mister, it's not me that's keeping her here. It's her. I offer to let her go the first day on the road, but she won't do it. Stupid, stubborn fool won't do it. Really? My family will be blamed if I don't return with her. They'll be jailed or executed. She won't let that happen, so she's sacrificing herself for them. I told her not to, but she won't listen. Wow, this is making my head hurt. Okay, so you're saying you're just as much a prisoner as she is? Yes. I was sent on this mission because of the connection between our families. When hers was killed by the government, mine raised her and her sisters. They knew she wouldn't kill me or let me be harmed. Too late for that, Lieutenant. You've got a gut wound, and while the sister is good, she's no Guan Yin. I can't say how long you're going to last, but you won't be in any shape to finish this trip, even if you do live to see tomorrow. Then my men will finish the job. Your men are all dead. They've been poisoned. These guys want her bad, and they don't want witnesses. Damn them! I hope somebody will, but until the King of Hell catches up with them, we've got to deal with... Hey, do you smell smoke? Oh, they wouldn't. Hey, you in there. You smell that? I've got this whole inn covered in oil. And unless you come out and give us the girl, we're going to burn it down. I'd better check the... Ugh, window! Well, it seems someone remembered to put archers outside. I know you've got a wounded man and prisoner in there, Nun. Give us the prisoner and you and the wounded man can go free. You have my word. Mister. The name's Go. Little Go. Go. Take her and run. Finish my duty. My family's life depends on it. She can't exactly run, Lieutenant. Not unless you feel like giving me the key. No. The key. It's in the trunk my second had. Which I'm sure they've got by now. Okay then, I guess there's only one thing left to do. What? Give up! Now hit me one more time to show me you mean it. We've got the gambler and the girl. I can't find the nun. What do you want me to do about the wounded guy? Finish him. Oh, she didn't like that. <laughs> Too bad you're all tied up, isn't it, darling? She's worth more alive, so leave her alone. But if she gets too troublesome, don't be afraid to rough her up. I'm the gambler. Have your fun. <laughs> You're the boss, brother. Before I lose any more teeth, can I say something? Say it. I'd like to point out that when you get her to the end of the line, someone is going to wander out of those chains. Yeah, and? Who's got the key, genius? You? Why, you little... Hold it a moment, brother. You know where the key is, gambler? Huh, I can see who got the brains in your family. So, tell us where it is. The nun's got it. I gave it to her before she left. Where did she go? 
can't say. But I can say that I can get it back for you if you leave Lieutenant alone and let me take him out of here. If he lives, we'll be wanted men. No deal. You said it before. You'll be a rich man. Just run. And look over my shoulder the rest of my life? I'll pass. But I would like for you to help us get it back, gambler. Fan, take him outside and start cutting off fingers. Maybe she'll come running if she hears him scream enough. Right. Yeah, well, you can't fault a guy for trying. Guess it's plan B then. When well-placed spin kick should do the job. Wah! He's kicked a candle into the wall. The oil's caught on fire. Too bad you didn't think to tie my feet, boys. Get the girl, man. Hey, you two, today's special. Two kicks for the price of one. Ah, I'll do it myself. What's the matter, Shay? Can't hit a man with two hands tied behind his back? Uh, kill you. Up on the bar I go. Here, Shay, have a drink. Brother, the fire's getting too high. If we stay, we're gonna get burned alive. They'll have to come out if they wanna live. Fine, you're right. Retreat outside, men. Surround the building. I thought they'd never leave. You okay, Miss Dragon? Yeah, sure, they don't touch you. Go! <coughs> Go! Over here, Cat. I can see you brought the lieutenant. I'd been planning to escape with him, but it seems reinforcements have arrived. Theirs or ours. Today is not a fortunate day. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, see if you can find the soldier with the keys to the strongbox the soldiers brought with them. I'm hoping Shay didn't think to loot them, or we're gonna look like Beijing Duck. What? What are you going to do? Let her free, of course. We need all the help we can get. Wait. I lied. He doesn't have the keys. Okay, so where are they? If I tell you, will you promise me something? Report to the nearest garrison and tell them what happened. And tell them... Tell them that we both died in the fire. They'll come looking, and if they don't find the bodies... They'll find us. We'll both be here. You can't mean... I want you to leave us to die. But that's crazy! If they don't find proof, my family will be killed. It's the only way. No. But... I mean, it's not the only way. What if there is a way to save both of you? How? We'll worry about that after. First, we need to get out of here. So, are you going to give me the keys or not? I... Keys, Lieutenant, now. Brother, they're not coming out. They will. Nobody wants to get burned alive. The wind's really fanning the flames. It must be pretty hot in there by now. But what if they do? Then we'll get her body from the ashes and find that case with her hand cannons. It was iron. It'll last the fire. That should be enough proof for the governor. Yeah, I hope so. Why? I see something moving in there. Someone's walking out the front doors. It's the girl. I don't believe it. They let her bloody loose. Men, get her before she can get away. Fan, be careful. She's got those hand cannons of hers. <laughs> Come here, girl. I got something for you. Auntie Cat, how much longer will we have to wait? Not long now, I hope, Jing. Are you feeling better? Yes, ma'am. So, can I stop taking the medicine now? 
It tastes really bad. Just a few more days, Jing. We need you healthy for when you meet your new grandfather. Hey, there's Uncle Go now. That hey, Uncle Go over here. Hey, Jing. All done. Let's get going. The garrison commander believed you. Sure, why not? I told him the truth. The lieutenant died in the bandit raid, and we were the last people to see him alive. Of course, traveling with a nun helped. And there will be no reprisals against his family. I doubt it. A party already searched the remains of the inn and found his armor and her guns. Since they found those, there's little reason for them to search more. At least, as long as she's never seen again. She and Hung should be home free, as long as they lay low. I believe we did the right thing, Brother Go. As do I, sister. Still, I had to admit I had my doubts. She wiped out the entire Golden Chalice escort agency by herself. Forty men! And for a while there, I was pretty sure we were going to go with them. She's not very discriminating. She was like a demon from the old scriptures that the abbess used to frighten us to behave as children. <laughs> Some demons are real, it seems. Well, any day you can live through is a good one. Do you think we will meet her again? I certainly hope not, sister. I certainly hope not. Now, let's get going. Two more days and we'll be back in White Fox Town. Oh, I can already hear those tiles clicking. The tiles? Or rocks in your head? Why, sister, it could be either. It could be either. <laughs> Little Go at Hell's Gate. Written and produced by Robin Patterson. Starring Robin Patterson as Little Go. Fiona Thrail as Sister Cat. Meredy as Jing. Chris Gumprich as Lieutenant Hung, John Boardman as Shay, Ty Konzak as Fan, Richard Bartok as the Soldier, and special guest stars Jack Ward as the Innkeeper and Shannon Hilchey as the Innkeeper's Wife. End music, The Battle by James Underberg. Sound effects found on The Free Sound Project, SoundSnap.com, The Apple iLife Sound Effects Collection, and purchased from SoundEffectsLibrary.com. This story and all its characters are copyright 2008 Robin Patterson, all rights reserved. This step into audio adventure and others can be found at KungFuActionTheater.com, where theater is spelt with an R-E at the end because that's how it's done with style. Until next time, zaijian, bye-bye. <laughs>